Good morning from St. Louis, Missouri. Today is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. It is 9 o'clock a.m. We're here again outside the Gateway Arch National Park. I know I've started quite a few videos from here, but it just seems to serve a fun purpose. Uh, we're going to be riding a little bit through this Gateway Arch Park on our bicycle today. You can see you got the bike here. Today's my final day in St. Louis before I fly back to Cleveland. And I have to return this bike to the shop I rented it from around... They said they basically said any time around noon would be fine. Let me put this in tilt locked mode. So when I ride it steady. No, oh, sorry. But today we're going to be trying to find the Mural Mile. It's about a one, I don't know if it's more than a mile, but could be anywhere between one to two mile long mural of graffiti art. And then I'm trying to think of the best way to get to this bike path. I believe if we circle down here, we'll get there. And this graffiti art that we're attempting to see changes very often. So if you look on Google Maps at one year and then you look at the next year at the same spot, like all, almost all the graffiti is going to look different. I'm going a little bit off memory, but I think this ramp takes us to the road that I'm aiming for. If not, <laughs> I'll figure out an alternative way to get down there. I might end up circling back where I came because now that I'm looking around left and right, I don't think the ramp is over here. Yeah, that's just an overview overlook. I could take the stairs, but I really wanted to take the ramp. That's all right. <laughs> you at least get to see the spiraling ramp from a different perspective. See, on Google Maps, the problem is when you look at the trail, it shows this whole thing spiraling, but you can't tell what the elevation is. And which curve go actually goes into the, the road that I'm trying to reach. So let's still try to figure this out. I think it's a left turn up here. There we go. Now we're on the correct path. Look both ways for traffic. No vehicles coming right now. Oh, and they, let's see here, they have a little sign here. Mississippi Greenway Detour. Closed Greenway. So it looks like after the Gateway Arch, there may be uh, some construction going on up ahead here. I wasn't planning on going that direction. I'm going 
this opposite way. But yeah, there's supposed to be a bike path that runs along the Mississippi River. And this is like a part of it, but if you would wanted to go the other direction where we just saw that sign, I guess there's a one mile detour at the moment before you can resume taking the bike path. See the big arch to our right. We do have a couple of bike racks down here by the river if you want to try to lock your bike and stop. We've also got a monument here. Let's see if we can figure out what this is resembling. going to read this sign. It says, the captain's return. At noon on September 23rd, 1806, the Lewis and Clark exploration or expedition ended on the St. Louis riverfront after a journey along the Missouri River to its headwaters, etc. So that's the background of that. Now let's continue on riding toward the Mural Mile. The other day I took these stairs to the left, which actually lets you go right up to the Mississippi River. And then on our right are the bigger stairs that take you up to the big arch and the grass hill that's up there. I've got a couple of videos that I did on the arch. My first one in St. Louis in the downtown area it was focusing on walking around the Gateway Arch. And then a couple days later, I also did a live stream at nighttime that included it. Nighttime, even though it was around 55, 60 degrees, not too many people were out at night, which surprised me a little bit, I guess, because I, granted, I, I, there's nothing here for locals to need to come see the arch that they see all the time. But I thought with a conference being in town and other potential tourists that there would be a little more activity but then again the museum closes there's a museum underneath the arch it talks about like the whole background and also the tram that takes you up to the top of the arch if you choose to do that is located within the museum area so maybe those things being closed kind of means that tourists don't really have as much of an interest to visit during the nighttime hours. But something I did yesterday, right around six o'clock, and that video should be, well, it'll probably be posted by the time this one gets posted. But I rode this bike over the Eads Bridge, which is not this one ahead, but the one, that bridge that would have been behind me. And that took me over to the Illinois side and on the Illinois side there's a Mississippi River overlook right in the center of the arch so I got some like great pictures with the sun setting and the arch there's a couple of photographers up there while I was there also taking pictures I had 
had more time, this would have been something where I would love to have ridden this bike trail like going the opposite direction. Like starting, I would have started further down here and then rode it the opposite way. You can see some of the mural is beginning on the right side here. I'll try to get off and walk a little bit so my body is oriented that way. I think for the most part the mural is going to be on the left side like we're looking at the right right now I'm trying something else new with my camera I'm turning it even though I'm riding straight I'm turning my camera to the right so hopefully it's picking up the artwork So even though that's part of the mural, or that's what I would consider kind of part of the mural, I don't know if it's officially within the mural mile area. Because that's supposed to start just up ahead. But then the tricky part is, I don't know if there's actually a nice bike path like this along that mural. Google Maps I was trying to look and it seemed like the bike path stopped not too far ahead of where we're at right now but then the, the mile long mural still continued. We'll see an improvised, we may, we may have to go in the street a little. But here's kind of the start of the mural mile. I don't know if they have signage for it. Now, if you look at previous years, like right now, it just looks like a bunch of lettering and words. Well, as I said, if you look at previous years, you're gonna see much different artwork. I'm just going over here briefly to see what this entails. It says Mississippi Greenway Riverfront Trail. So that's about the bike trail itself. You also got some bike accessories here. If you want to need to pump your tire or change tools, then there's a little water fountain. And then the mural continues down that way in front of us. You see the puffed crispies. See, that's the type of artwork I like. <laughs> cereal box it's got like the st. Louis logo on it but that's the type of artwork where you'd have to you know physically walk over there through the grass to get a up-close shot of it I'm gonna snag some pictures because my phone zooms in nicely look at even a 10 times zoom zoom on my phone I get a nice shot something quirky I just saw. Let me take this off tilt, tilt lock mode. See down there there's like a a face that someone embedded in the rock. And even then there's like a one tooth that they put in there too. So there's no sign that I see that specifically mentions the mural mile. 
this is where we're going to utilize the street as our bike path. It's going to be segmented when the, as far as the mural goes, so we're not going to be able to get up close to everything. Like on the left by that business, there's more graffiti art. And when I've read reviews on Google over the years, it's just like I said, the artwork is constantly changing. So sometimes when people come and tour it, they're like, oh yeah, it looked awesome. But then other times people say, ah, it looked all run down. carry the bike through here so I'm not going through glass. At least there's a sort of a path over here. Like I wouldn't ride on this, but get to at least see the artwork up close. And again, I'm trying to point the camera to the left side. Uh, I, won't, I won't really know until I upload this video whether it turned out. Yeah, see, just my personal preference, even though, you know, whoever did this long artwork, it's like the same theme. You know, I'm sh it, yeah, I'm sure it's cool, but when I look at other years of Google Maps and I would see, like, almost every panel would have a different artist work on it. So there's like, oh, it was cool to see such a wide ranging variety. We'll see as we get further down, whether we get more of a variety. Here's a nice mural here. A person with long flowing hair, if you can block out the gang related messages that are written or spray painted as well yeah see this is the stuff I like I like when like you have every couple of panels there's almost a completely unique artwork through the puddle. If you look on Google Maps, you know they have the star ratings for various attractions. This is rated 4.5 stars out of 5. So people who are visitors do tend to enjoy seeing this stuff. Can of whoop ass. And you can see 2-3, so this one must have been painted in uh, 2023. It says Serena and it seems like a tennis ball, so I'm going to assume that's representing like Serena Williams. And then you can see that artwork over there.
for penny, miss you, sis. The infinite's blinding limits are more. The infinite is blinding. Limits are more inspiring. A thematic message in there. When I was renting the bike out yesterday too, amidst the suggestions that the guy uh, made to me, one of them he mentioned was the Mural Mile. He said, oh yeah, it's a real popular place that people always seem to love. So the, the reason I keep mentioning that in the Google reviews is I want to kind of make it clear that this isn't just something obscure in St. Louis. It's pretty, pretty well known. I believe the guy was saying that the, because I was mentioning him, I'm like, oh yeah, it looks like on Google Maps that the artwork changes every year, or changes all the time, and he said he thinks there's actually like an annual event, I'd have to look more into this to find the details, but he was thinking there was like an annual event where, uh, sorry, let me point this to the left again, an annual event where they kind of like promote the fact that like, oh, this is the time of year, let's have all the graffiti artists come out and do their work. Oh, look, there's Garfield. <laughs> I'm too close up to read this right now, but I think it's, it says Numbers cr Crew. Yeah, it looks like it says Numbers Crew in that big purple lettering. Writers of the Caribbean or Caribbean. So instead of Pirates of the Caribbean, you got Writers of the Caribbean. And see how there's like lettering also beneath it? That's the type of thing where I don't know, like, was that included in the original Writers of the Caribbean artwork? Or did someone over time come in, sort of paint their own stuff over it a little bit? I was going to say, I wonder if people paint on the other side of the wall, but I don't, I'm isolated enough as it is, I don't want to go right up to it, or go even further isolated. Yeah, see, this is a stretch where, again, everyone has their own taste, but I prefer the constant moving and seeing new drawings as opposed to one big thing but that still is a nice long one that they were able to achieve on the top part with the clouds and the skyline that's why I'm not stopping as much I'm just some kind of carrying on through right. let's go over to the road and I'll ride for a second up to the next patch. Back to tilt locked mode.
I'm gonna go ahead and keep riding. So you have that long stretch of words, and then over here it seems like we sort of pick up on some more drawings again. You can see that guy was painted in, or put up in 2022. Oh, here's an example of old artwork, see? <laughs> I think I saw this one on Google Maps. You can see how there used to be a nice like St. Louis Cardinals um, mural up there. But then the bottom half has all been replaced it. Same thing with this. There was a nice colorful mural. Like all these. You had nice colorful murals. And then it's just been tagged over with whatever this these words are. And to me, it's one thing if you're like, yes, you're saying, okay, this certain artwork's going to be here for a year. But it's different if there's like nice artwork up there and you just like, eh, I'm just going to put something partially over it, and kind of deface the nice graffiti art that was there. So I'd say it's, if you're a visitor to St. Louis, it'd still be something that'd be fun to check out. But you might want to time it up and do some research online, like when do they, at what point of the year do they typically commission the new graffiti art? Because like if this wall was just entirely freshly graffitied on, then that would be, I think, probably like a extra nice sight to see. Now it's like, yeah, it's cool to still have experienced it, but it's not like it's maximum potential, so to speak. I don't know if this is the end of it or if it keeps going, but regardless, I don't know if I'm gonna go any further. We'll see here. There is, yeah, it does keep going. Some of these have been less defaced. Need to be cognizant of vehicles coming, of course. Burke's Baddest is like a Breaking Bad reference.
See, I like something like this. Again, the top part's been probably defaced a little bit, but I love the character design. Cheeto guy. Does it go beyond this? Yep, st still keeps on going. At some point I'll try to put a little note in the description of this video as far as if I find information like when, at what point of the year they typically put up the new murals. That'll help give some context of when the most optimal time to visit this may be. All right, it keeps on going on further up ahead, but I can already tell that the road, once you get to that next section, is like not smooth like this. It kind of becomes more gravelly, and I don't want to be walking in this area because I'm so like far away because you never know who's going to come up. Which is a shame because the artwork over there looks like it's more intact. Oh well, safety first though, right? <laughs> if I was in a group, it may be different. I do see though, it actually, the mural mile keeps on continuing even way up ahead and goes down further. But yeah, hopefully you still enjoyed this snapshot of the mural mile. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, if you're used to the mural mile, maybe also add some comments, giving us some more context, and we will see you next time.